I think you'll definitely buy it. It doesn't mm -hmm. matter what it is. If it has a lot of most, Glock, Glock for most people, people out there, for most people, if it's a Glock, you're gonna buy it. I mean, it's just the way of the world. Like, especially the 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 Glock fanboys. I mean, that's gonna be it. Um, fan gals. There's a fan lot gals. Of, yeah. There's a lot of no. You're Glock right, folks. You are right. You're absolutely right. But it was a uh, it was an this. interesting it was an interesting media event. It really was. It was. Uh, you know, a lot a of good people. Of people a lot of good people um, there. Lipsy's folks were there. You know, a lot of the uh, dealers were there, um, and some really great media. Uh, so it was, it was, it was entertaining. Um, but it's, the build up, I think. Welcome in, guys. Uh, we we are, we are live. We're kind we're of live. letting it. Yeah, letting let it build. Get in here. Um, uh, I'll be trying to see if the Facebooks want to tell me that we're actually live. Yeah. You're not live? All right. I don't know. Anyway, uh, Ryan's going to be monitoring the Facebook comments. I'll be on the YouTube comments. Uh, hey, Eric, how you doing? Uh, hope all's well in your world. But it was a busy week for the Gun Talk crew. Uh, Here we are. But, uh, oh, just a recap. When you tune into this video, you comment. That's all you got to do. Jeez. And you're going to be entered to win. Uh-oh, what do we got? Uh, well, that's what I, you're, you're announcing that. If you comment, you could win yeah. stuff. And I get here and there's already a lot of comments. Oh, geez. Steven, Rob, Richard, Bob, Kevin. Hello from Cleo Springs, Oklahoma. Ah, Cleo Springs. I've been there, through there a couple of times. Uh, but man, we've got someone watching all the way from Dubai. I love our channel. Thanks for watching. Um, man, if we can get you something to win, I would love to send it to you. Uh, <laughs> you can win a book. All right. So, G44 Talkie Talk, let's let let the memes begin. You are absolutely right. Random name dude, okay, Google. Um, <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Random name dude, uh, okay, Google. So, all right, we need to announce our last week's winner. We're going to send him a prize pack. Uh, and it is... Show the comment. And this was his magic comment. It's coming? All right, all right. Michael, back behind the scenes. Uh, Brian Williams, congratulations. I just reached out to you on the YouTube channels, and we will get you your prize pack. But this week, this week, uh, we are going to be giving away my basically my swag bag we're, from we're, the event. We're giving away a Glock 44 prize pack. Prize pack <laughs> bag. It's a backpack. Yeah. Not a gun. Um, but what's in here is we've got this nice little tactical backpack. You can't buy these. It is labeled uh, G44, so when you go buy your G44, you will have it. Um, but in there, Jace knows all of it. It's a hat, a thermos, range, uh, bag, range bag, iPro, Air Pro, pen, and coasters. And, and you get Glock, and it's all labeled Glock. So you especially will be if you guys, out. oh yeah. Um, but we also, for the two guy, two other guys or gals that don't win that. We're going to be giving away a couple books, and it's called Coming to Terms. Tell them it, about the book. It's actually really interesting. It's a uh, mass shooting survivor's recount and his recovery uh, from dealing with uh, uh, surviving a mass shooting. It's David Frankel. Actually, Tom Gresham's Gun Talk Radio is hosting him uh, this week, so tune That's in interesting. there. But, so he, he was in it. Yeah, he was in it. Uh, a lot in of San lessons we learned from that. But, uh, okay, so... Tell us about the Glock 44, KJ. Glock 44. He, he went to the Glock event, yeah. the one that you all watched live with the guys talking. It was like a Apple introducing a new iPhone yeah. kind of vibe. And it, it, it really did have that vibe to it. I arrived Monday um, and didn't know a lot about what the event was. There was a lot of buildup, and we all saw the marketing photos of, you know, an outdoor setting. You know, instead of taking the tactical life, the competition life, it's set more towards the outdoorsman uh, and the adventurer. Mm -hmm. And so initially, and I wrote a piece in the newsletter about it this week, initially launched on December 10th at 10 a.m. So I you immediately thought, think it's a 10 millimeter, yeah. hopefully a PCC uh, 10 millimeter, which would be awesome. Um, but, you know, there was little rumblings. Everybody had their guesses. And a couple of the guys kind of hinted at it not being what we thought it might be. Mm -hmm. And sure enough, 10 o'clock rolls around, and we're doing the announcement. And 
it's funny because in my video, I'm sitting there recording the live event and you hear someone kind of go <laughs> and then put their hands down. Um, and it was just it's, so it's, funny because uh, everybody was like, oh, like, well, it's a gun that they, it, they've never done before. This isn't a variation of a gun. I mean, it's a Glock. Glocks, Glock makes pistols. Okay, yes. I know everybody's like, oh, the Glock PCC. No, no. Glock makes pistols. Yeah. In you know, Glock long gun and, will be like I don't know when no. when Ford starts making long but, guns. Perhaps, but or you start looking at it and like if you take a step back. So it's a I think, twenty-two. I think that's what people need to do is take a step back. Yes, it's a twenty-two. But this is their first 22. There's this is their first introduction into the 22 market, which we all know that's you know new shooters. That's yeah. You know like brand new folks into our sport and giving them an opportunity to get into our sport comfortably. It's, it's the way people start shooting for yes. the most part. Is sh you start with a 22. And frankly, even as an adult, if someone if you're taking someone out. Uh, who's an adult, a girlfriend, a brother-in-law, whatever, start them on a 22. Yes. And, you know, I know you probably have a Glock 9mm. <laughs> yep. If you like Glocks, maybe you want to get this gun, and they yeah. can start with the 22, and you said it's very similar in size to the Glock 19. <laughs> very similar. Um, and I think that's one of the, the things that I enjoyed about it was the similarity in grip, because I I've, I've carry a 19 quite often, and to have that transfer into training for me is great. And we've got a ton of comments coming in. Uh, biggest appointment of, disappointment of the year. Yeah, I, I gotta interrupt, and we say this all the time. <laughs> Why is it when a company brings out a new gun, like so many people pass judgment on, this is yeah. awesome, or I hate it. They've never held it, they've never shot it. They well, just, and, and I, I don't understand that. I touch on it in the, the article piece that I wrote because it's not what I would have wanted. I mean, we get in, locked into a situation where it's like, well, I would like this. This is what I want. Well, sometimes that's always not always what companies want or well, going they to wanna, introduce. They I want mean, to sell product. Yeah. So it's like, oh, I want uh, I want a Glock carbine in 357 Sig. Right. They're not going to sell very now, many of those. We do have a, even a, be cool. a good comment here, uh, and it is, how does it compare with a Mark IV? Um, it's different. I mean, it, it, you're, the, I think your Mark IV is a little yeah. bit more, a little bit heavier. Well, it's a um, different but, operating system. But it's a different operating system. This is more your traditional polymer pistol, strike yes. fire pistol kind of yes, device, exactly. right? And we ran thousands of rounds through them um, without failure. Now, what we did notice is, you know, the 22 ammo we were shooting CCI, and there was a lot of gunk and build up, building up over that which every once in a while, when you'd run that slide forward, um, a round would bounce off and eject. So mm. that was the only time that I really saw a, like a failure to feed or something like that, but we'd run thousands of rounds through them. I would say in general, 22 guns, and that's pistols and rifles, are some of the more finicky guns in general, not yeah. on any particular brand. Um, they're finicky on operation. The, sometimes the magazines with the little rounds are weird. Yep. Uh, they kind of stack up and they don't oh, yeah. line up perfectly. And sometimes uh, the accuracy will vary greatly depending on what ammo. And it's, right. I mean, you could have a, a 22 uh, Mossberg rifle yeah. that loves CCI, and then you have a different gun that likes a different type of ammo. And it just, it, 22s can be a little ammo yeah. dependent. So MSRP for this is MSRP is listed as 459 is what we were told at the event. Um, so you're going to probably see them somewhere around 399, I would think. Yeah, yeah, um, right under that $400 but price point. But there's a maybe. lot of comments coming in. Uh, someone said they saw it online for 349, which is going to be about. I mean, man, why wouldn't you buy one? And yeah. I know a lot of folks are saying overpriced. There's a lot of 22s out there, yes, but not from Glock. Yeah, um, this is the only one. Yeah. yeah. Um, but one of the things, and a lot of people are calling this out, that I was, I was, I was kind of disappointed in because you look at it from a training aspect uh, for like your Glock 19, if you're looking to train like that, well, you'd want the same ammo capacity. This is only a 10 round, um, and they have the load assist magazines. A lot of people are 
bummed about the 10 round thing. Yeah, uh, a lot of people are. And it, but I kind of I kind of understand that. I mean, it's I, I would want it to hold just as much as my 19. That way I could really get a good training in, but it's yeah. still going to fit those holsters. Um, so yeah, you can still train really well. The, the 10 well round it. thing doesn't concern me as much. I mean, yeah. Do you count your rounds when you're shooting? I don't think you're supposed to do that no. anyway, right? I mean, um, that's a good one. KJ Glock 44 or Taurus TX22. Yeah, the that's TX22 it. I mean, actually, you know, that's a Taurus is known for being less expensive. Uh, that's actually. A, damn, I've shot that's that a TX22. Damn good question. And it's a pretty good one. So now, you know, I think the Glock people. Love Glock. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. They're very, very uh, brand. So they're very supportive oh, yeah. of that Absolutely. brand. Absolutely. Um, again, if you're commenting, you're entered to win the uh, G44 prize pack and one of two books. Um, but anyway, so if you were following along, and I hope you were, uh, I had a little bit of audio issue. <laughs> So, and, wait, let me jump in here. KJ decided to piss off uh, YouTubes. Going um, live. I was going live. Went live from the range on the Squawk event. And, look, I, if, if you haven't ever tried to film on a range with a phone, the audio cover your, your earbuds for the kids. It sucks. Yeah. It freaking sucks. And, uh, but he was trying to give you guys some coverage. So, everybody's really excited about the G43. Or 44. Oh, 44. Sorry. Uh, Someone did ask if they could change the naming system for the... Oh, don't get me started yes. on Glock naming system. So, it's got like 30,000 views. And something like that. And who Like knows the thumbs the down is just as many as the thumbs up for this video. And it's all because of the audio. It's all it, your fault. It is all my fault. And, <laughs> and, I, and I went live and what's funny is I don't think you could hear it in the video. So, do yourself a favor and, and we pride ourselves on producing good content and... You know, what I was saying was just a few of the features about the gun, but you guys have to go back and watch yeah. the original video. But um, thankfully, the uh, video was good enough that our editors were able to go back and kind of pull the majority of that audio out. But So you get a first listen at this. You get a first listen to this. This is kind of my web redemption on... Uh, the horrible, awful audio job that I did. And let's go ahead and play that video. I kind of want something other to eat. You got any biscuits for sale in there? What you got in there is good to eat. French fried potatoes? How much you want for them? I reckon I'll have me some of the big ones. I like them French fried potatoes. Mm -hmm. Solid review. Yeah, solid. solid. Review. I mean, I, I, I think nice. I knocked it out of the park on that web redemption. Hickok, 45, <laughs> eat your heart out. Yeah, I mean, you got nothing on me now. <laughs> uh, but no, it's, uh, you know, going live on the range, you're going to get, I mean, audio's tough on range when, you know, I can't sit there and go, okay, entire event shut down. Yeah, everybody shut up. Yeah. Um, but, that's why you don't see a lot of videos from the SHOT Show Range Day for right. us. Right, because it's just, it's just it's worthless. <laughs> hey, we're here at the SHOT Show Range Day! <laughs> oh, but yeah, God. It's, uh, it, it's an entertaining look behind the scenes, but it, you know, what's funny about that video is, and I don't think you could hear it on the original, but seriously, do yourself a favor for the comments, because <laughs> I'm getting eaten alive in the comments, and I love it. Like, I, I think it's great, because they call out, they're like, I think one of the best comments that I saw was, um, uh, just a quick note, you forgot the talk in Gun Talk. <laughs> <laughs> so, but that was an entertaining one, but I gotta give it to some of the guys out there, man. They are spot on with their, their roast, uh, but it's, it's, it's fun to watch that. But uh, We're not at the end of that video, I think you probably can hear me say, the guy filming it, it was Duncan from Ammo Land. Oh yeah. And he goes, Man, I couldn't hear any of the audio. I couldn't hear what you're saying. I go, oh, I'm sure it's fine. <laughs> I'm sure it's fine. <laughs> yeah. I'll just run with it. So just put anyway. it out there. So anyway, that was the Glock. Now, Ryan yep. was in a whole nother state doing a whole different thing. Yeah, I was on a media event with Ducks Unlimited, and we actually went to Greystone Castle. And it's a shooting lodge about an hour, a little over an hour west of Fort Worth, uh, Texas. Yes. It is a castle. It's it was built in like the 80s. That's crazy. It's not an old castle because it's yeah. in Texas. Yeah. 
but it was built in the 80s. And uh, so we went out and did a mix, a mix of hunting. We shot sporting clays. Um, we shot this Browning A5 16 gauge. Oh, how was that? Oh, I haven't my shot that yet. It was nice. We had the A5 12 gauge, the waterfowl loads. Now you took, we went, went you after, ended up taking that on went after your ducks. upland hunt too. We did. I used it on the upland hunt because we had more 12 gauge ammo. Right. Um, and then why we were there is because That's the Texas Motor Speedway, Ducks Limited and Texas Motor Speedway are going to have an event. And um, you may have seen a goat there at the end. I'll tell you a story about that. <laughs> um, so they're going to have an event in May. It's called the Ducks Expo, D-U-X. Okay. And it's just a big outdoors show, open to the public, then it's really going to be a hands-on thing. So if you go to NRA show, super fun. You get to yep. handle the guns, ask questions, that kind right. of thing. But you can't shoot them. So at this place, at Texas Motor Speedway, you will be able to try the guns out, and you'll be able to buy them there, I think is what it's they're It's all telling at the me. same location. Yeah. They are, they are building shooting ranges in the parking lot of the Texas Motor Speedway. How can they get Shotgunning, away with that? Shotgunning, handgun, and a 300-yard rifle range. Live fire. Really? Yeah. So wait, so, because I know, because we passed through there on the way to Oklahoma to hunt some deer, Bucky's is like right across oh, the yeah. street. It's like a shopping center across yeah. the street. Yeah. So how does that work? They, they got approval. Um, they have, and I, was, I had a, a lot of questions about how this is going to work and the safety. And I got to say, um, they had a survey done of the parking lot. There's actually a rise uh, in the parking lot where they're going to really? put it. They're going to build a 25-foot berm. They're going to have the baffles up top so it can kind of uh, catch anything right. that could happen. RSOs, obviously. I think some of the guns will be kind of locked into maybe some sort of brace or thing where it can't, you can't just pick it right. up and, and go crazy with it. Um, but it's going to be it's going to be pretty cool. And so I'll tell you the story about the goat. Yeah. There was, there was a goat that looked like, uh, someone said nice dog. <laughs> yeah. Um, so the, uh, well, I have, to, I have to get this out. You've got to okay. get the name right, right? i got to get the name right. Yeah. Okay, I just want to make sure I'm getting this right. Okay. Oh, my gosh. So, uh, so there's so it, this goat. Post that, uh, run that picture up again. It looks like it's got a number three on the side. Yes. Okay. So we're walking around at the Texas Motor Speedway, and I see this full body mount of a goat in a glass case. And I asked the guy we're with, um, what's the deal with this goat? He's like, oh, Lord, let me tell you. So um, after Dale Earnhardt Jr. died, yeah. the, what was his senior. What was, senior, senior, sorry. I'm not a NASCAR, NASCAR guy. What was his nickname? <laughs> The Intimidator? Tim, yeah. Okay, so after he died, a big NASCAR fan in Florida, this lady, had these goats. And she got this goat that was born, and it had a, a marking, white marking on the side, number three, as you can see there. That's crazy. That was his number. On the other side of the goat is a, an outline of a ghost. And so she put it out there. NASCAR fans started stopping by her place on the way to Daytona, That's and they crazy. would pay a fee to see... The goat. I believe it's called like the Ghost Dale goat or something like that. So Ghost Dale. Yeah. So then, um, he has a my guy Rob at Texas Motor Speedway. His boss says, "Look, we got to get this goat. Like, I want to get it taxidermied and yeah. put it at the speedway." And he's like, "Are you serious?" Yeah. <sighs> yes. So, so he calls the lady. He's like, "You know, this is kind of weird. I work with NASCAR, but whenever Dale goat." ghost dies yeah. we would like to purchase him she's like okay money so she's gonna have to she, compensate she, me she cashed in right she cashed in yeah big time she said you're gonna have to compensate me he's like okay and he's like how much she, yeah i'm gonna need a hundred dollars <laughs> <laughs> so he's like no problem done <laughs> like, so then it gets better cash or pennies <laughs> yeah it gets better so, i'll back the truck up right so now he goes to his buddy, who's a big SCI Dallas Safari Club hunter guy, has killed Mike Marco oh Polo sheep in Tazikistan. He says, "Who's your best taxidermist for goats for sheep?" He's like, "Well, really, the best guy is this kind of this this country guy down in Florida, yeah. but he's the he's the man. He's a little weird dude." So he calls him up. I'm surprised that guy has a goat guy. Like, yeah, I got like a guy. He, kill, he he <laughs> hunts all over the world. Oh, I got a goat guy. Yeah. Like, I've got a, 
So he calls the guy and he says, kind of a weird story. I work with NASCAR. We're purchasing this goat. We would like to have a really nice full body mount done. He goes, you mean Ghost Dale? The Ghost Dale goat? Yeah, that's he my next door it. neighbor. Oh my God. The lady that lives next door to him. So he gets Go the goat mounted. The rest and is it's history. like right there. Yeah. Like they in, were next door neighbors. He's in the lobby of the offices. Do you think he was over there like licking his chops like, oh boy, I can't wait to get my hands on that goat. <laughs> I'm going to I'm gonna taxidermy that sucker. <laughs> yeah. So oh, that's the that's story of the good. goat. Nice. I, I, you know, the event at the Texas Motor Speedway actually sounds more interesting because you were talking about it earlier and you don't have, you have the option, you can also probably gonna be able to purchase yeah, you so can you purchase can, guns. So you can shoot and purchase. Yeah, there's, and there's going to be so much stuff going on there. It's going to be crazy. They've got like Purina Dog Challenge. Yeah. They've got kayaks and canoes and fly fishing and ATVs. And I believe you're going to be able to try and try out the ATVs on dirt track. Oh, oh I was They're going to have the, uh, different trucks the there uh, doing stuff. There's going to be, it's going to be wild. There's going to be a big, huge concert on Saturday night. Um, huh? When is it? May... 15, 16, 17, I believe. <laughs> uh, it's, it's over a weekend, Friday <laughs> through Sunday, middle of uh, May. NGG, uh, w yeah, when is the event? That was a question from a uh, high school uh, buddy, Brett Corn. How you doing, brother? Um, but uh, NGG23 says, I'll give you $200 to hunt it. <laughs> the goat. <laughs> yeah. I don't think there's much hunt there. I, I think it's like, hold out it. a hand of corn, and I think you're good. Meredith says, yeah. he had been bad. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I want to see G44 memes and goat memes. Yeah, from here together. On out. This yeah. is what we're doing. <laughs> oh, gee. We did shoot, uh, but we shot ducks. We shot pheasant, chucker, quail, hogs, and uh, and clay pigeons. We all shot the, a lot all of there stuff. on property. How many square acres? It was like they've six, got six thousand acres. Six thousand acres. Yeah. And if you want to shoot Jeez. a really monster whitetail, they have those there yeah. too. And exotics, too. Yeah. I mean, if Black you want an elephant, fever. I'm sure they'd probably get it for you. We don't have one. We don't have one, but how much you got? Well, that's, uh, that's it's funny because I knew an outfitter, uh, actually in the great state of Oklahoma, who would do that. He'd, you know, whatever you'd want, he'd go to find it in some auction. Like, so if you wanted to shoot, you know, I want to shoot a giraffe or something. Like, and he had this happen. This happened. Like, he, someone says, hey, do you have any giraffes? I, I really don't want to go over to Africa and do that. I don't feel like going over there. He goes, yeah, let me see what I can do. He backs the trailer up and, like, releases it for, you know, however many long it is until it's wild. <laughs> it's a wild giraffe. Yeah. yeah. I mean, so it's a wild Oklahoma giraffe. So, <laughs> anyway. Yeah, Maybe so that, that's what we were up to this week. <laughs> yeah. yeah great week. Uh, but G44 shot great. I yeah. don't know. Um, we also have, I'm sorry, I'm battling something here. It's just killing me. Uh, need some hot tea? We, yeah, <laughs> something. I need a, what is it, a hot toddy? Something yeah, like there you right. go. But we, uh, there's a lot of new guns a lot getting launched of new right guns. now. Um, one that I was kind of surprised by was, uh, and kind of not surprised, was the Can we, e easy? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. The Smith & Wesson Shield. I thought you were going to say something you were supposed to say. No. Smith no, & Wesson Shield EZ yeah, in 9mm. In 9mm. Mm. And yeah. I think that's huge for uh, because the launch of the 380. We haven't gotten ours in yet. We haven't gotten ours in yet. We're going to have it soon. But uh, the EZ9, I think, uh, for shooters, because we get that question a lot, like, what gun do you recommend with folks with arthritic hands and stuff like that? And, and the EZ platform... Uh, the way they've built it up, I mean, it is a nice shooting gun. And it's, I mean, the first one was great. And I think the 9mm is going to even expand, you know, uh, their market in that uh, yeah. easy shooting platform. I wonder and if then they can... that gun, that's the, uh, the subcompact they just launched. I wonder if they'll be able, the whole thing with the EZ is with a 380, you have a, a lighter spring. Yes. I wonder if you're able to keep that lighterish spring to make it easy to run the slide. I think so. I, I, I think you'd be able to, but we were out yesterday shooting the M2.0 subcompact, and that's a nice little gun, 12 plus one, um, but exactly what you would expect out of uh, Smith & Wesson, great trigger. Mm -hmm. um, the grip texturing, um, and I think Jace noticed this too, the grip texturing 
where your uh, forefinger is, the, the front strap. Front strap, a little bitey. Little bitey. Little bitey on a gun that small. But, uh, but anyway, it was a pleasure to shoot. KJ, our good buddy Nick oh, says, no. I got a jar that'll cure your Ill ales. Hey. I got a special Bring jar. it. <laughs> little mason jar. No. <laughs> uh, that, yes, yes. Get the lemon yes, stuff. Yes, sir. Yep. But anyway, that's, man, that's all we've, oh, that's all we've got right now. All right, so that's all we got to, that's to all share. I got. Again, that's all I got. You guys are entered to win. We're going to give this away next week. Um, we're going to, what, oh, what do we got? Oh, LSU, Oklahoma. Oh, yeah. We've, hey, we need Go to come Tigers! up. Go We need to come up with Go Tigers! <laughs> you got to say it just right. Go Chase, say it. Go Tigers. Go Tigers. There it is. That's <laughs> it. <laughs> But yeah, we need to come up with a, some kind of bet. So if you have a bet that we could bet, like, don't don't open it up to the comments. Up. We're not gonna like name each other Bodie McBoatface or anything oh, like that. Oh jeez. But, but yeah, so that's all we got. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, ring the bell. One more time, run through what's in the bag. Hey, in the, what's bag, in the bag. What's in the bag? What's, what's in the bag? Uh, we've got a. There's another range bag in there. There's a thermos. There's coasters. There's a pin. There's a hat. And I think that's it, but... That's nice, dude. Yep. Boomer Sooner. Fran says, I wish he had a chance to win. He does. You do. You have a chance to win. Like, you're automatically entered just by saying that. So, there keep with it. And enjoy the weekend. Watch out for those goats. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs>